Rails run for our readers. Sydney's first driverless trains. It says here, $7.3 billion was spent on this once in a generation train setup. More than 250 readers of the Daily Telegraph were given a glimpse of the new driverless trains that will arrive every four minutes. A step forward, driverless trains are a step backwards. Driverless cars, really, this is a step backwards. All we're doing, $7.3 billion spent in taking away jobs from people and taking away our brains. Driverless anything is a step backwards. Grandmother said, I don't think I would live to see this day. The 93-year-old great-grandmother Nancy Stevens, who rode the Tele Express from Rouse Hill to Chatswood, it's so smooth and it feels a bit strange that we're going so fast without a driver. That is strange. The trains reach speeds of 100 kilometres an hour. Probably going to be connected to the 5G network also, completely controlled. I'm saying it again, this is a step backwards. You know, giving your kids a uh, Siri, a computer so it can read to your child to go to sleep so you don't have to read to your kid is a step backwards. Asking Siri, a computer to turn your house light on is a step backwards. This isn't going forward. This is, might be in the future, but it's a step backwards for humanity. Sydney will remember 2019 as the year of the metro. The point in our history where getting around the city started to become faster and easier. And humanity started going backwards. The attention to every detail spans at 21st century technology, such as CCTV coverage for the entire length of the train. That's great. That'll make us be really safe. The fact we're going to get watched non-stop wherever we go. It's the first driverless train in Australia. Oh, and the lady went on to say, look at where technology has come, Mr Underwood said. You can see all the advancement in rail. Advancement, yes, in rail, not advancement for humanity.